Paul. How about we sample it on race number eight? A weak X action. I'm with you, Brandon. Race number eight, a weak X action, will feature our defending champion Luke Green as he takes on Vicky Nelson, the cowboy Benny Moen, and Adrian Legetta. Luke Green trying to get wins so that he can have a chance of repeating as world championship this season. Let's see if this race will be a lucky draw. Please start the race! And it looks like Benny Moen is for West. That means Luke Green, Ricky Nelson, and Adrian Legetta will have the opening edge. We'll soon know which one of them will pay off and not in the only one. <clears throat> Luke, Ricky, and Adrian are at the palm trees and they're going to shake it to bring down that coconut shaped foot. And now they're going to eat the fruit. And there goes Ricky Nelson and Luke Green. And anyway, Jack. These three challenges are going to be fighting for the lead up in the front. Number eight also right on there telling the hurry. And it looks like Ricky Nelson and Luke Green are heading for the water. As the cowboy Benny Moen, who desperately needs to catch up after going to rest at the race, wins the only toss. And look at that. Now he's heading for the water. Now a seven also going to sweep, but now he is setting for the one too. Now a seven trying to gain a little bit of ground in the only one. And who will have the right to gain speed was number two? It is Adrian Legetta. And look at that. He will pass Mickey Nelson for second place. But right now it is Luke Green who has a commanding lead over Adrian Legetta. Luke Green trying to get wins on the board this season. As the Cowboy Benny Moore gets another turn, that makes his second speed bus of the race, and Adrian Legetta is for the rest. Meanwhile, poor number one is getting left behind in the competition all the way in the back of the pack in the top, bottom of the hill. We have passed the one minute mark in this race, <clears throat> and I do believe number one is positive one. Yep, as number eight, who also really needs help from the crowd, takes the next command speed bus, and look at this. Luke Green is going to rest. That means Vicky Nelson will have the privilege to battle Luke Green for the lead up in the front. Vicky Nelson now catching up to Luke Green after Luke Green took a short sleep. What's going to happen? We'll find out soon enough. Next PS belongs to number two. Now he really needs help. He got that chance easily, don't you think? And poor number one is still singing the last place blues all the way in the back of the pack. I do believe he might need some speed bus right now if he wants to catch up with the clown knowing. But all too bad, so sad for him, it's our leader, Luke Green, who's trying to hold on Vicky Nelson for the victory, who will get the next command on his speed bus. Oh, Vicky Nelson's getting left high from Luke Green's speed bus. He is trying his best to get one last ever stay alive over Luke Green. A Wicked Channel also doing his best to catch up with the crowd. And who got the next one? It's Benny Moore making his best speed bus to the base. But I do believe Luke Green is going to hold on for the victory easily. Biggie Nelson might not have enough distance catch up. And so is Edward Jack. Luke Green might be a win with one easily. And here comes Edward Jack with next few months, but it's going to be too late to make a statement. Luke Green holds on him and Biggie Nelson for the victory. So Luke Green now has three wins with that vehicle save over Edward Jenner and Ricky Nelson. As the last speed miles on this race will be made by the Cowboy Benny Moore. Bringing a total of four speed miles for this race, number one can just forget about this race. So despite a late rally for Avery Jenner and Ricky Nelson, Luke Green gets the job done with style. That's why his world to be starting to get back on track, and it's more time coming out. Do not go away.